Welcome to Playmobil, host of this year's makeshift Marble Olympics. The stage is set ready for the opening ceremony where we will be welcoming each of our 16 national marble teams and getting this summer festival of marble sports underway. We can see the crowd here and at home eagerly anticipating the entry of our competitors. So give us a wave, we can see you through your webcam. The chair pig of the Marble Olympic Committee enters with this year's torchbearer to begin proceedings as they make their way across this arena, which gives us just a flavour of some of the locations in which this year's events will take place. And what are those events we hear you ask? That's right, we can hear you through your microphone as well. Let's take a look. These are the 16 events our marbles will be competing in this summer, including no less than four brand new events, and no more than four either. In fact, exactly four brand new events. We've shown you the events, now it's time to show you the marbles. Starting with Argentina, a brand new team for this year. Welcome to the party. One of three unknown teams coming into this day, another being Egypt, another brand new team. Excited to see there. Many of you, of course, already know who 13 of these teams will be having watched the Winter Marble Olympics and the Summer Qualifiers. Some of you, of course, don't know who any of our six teams are, and clearly don't know how to have a good time either. But you're here now, and that's what matters. You are reborn as a dedicated Marble fan, now click subscribe to make it official and have all your dreams come true. Speaking of dreams coming true, Kenya returned to the Games after failing to qualify from the very first Games two years ago. Lovely to see them back along with these familiar faces. Tonga showing their speed, they came second in the Winter Games, showing they've got what it takes to compete on both land and sea. Could they be a contender for this year's championship? We've got just one more team to bring you. Vietnam completes the lineup. Which of our 16 teams do you think will end up on top spots? Let us know in the comments who you think will win and who you will be supporting for this summer. Now Felix, who will you be supporting in this year's games? Pupu Island. Oh, you cheeky boy, that's not a real place. I apologise for that terrible silly language. Felix, which of these actual teams do you like? Um, that one. Oh, that one. Oh, good. Well, Felix is supporting that one. Now, whether you're also supporting that one, or this one, or the other one, we've got good news for you. You won't have to wait long to see your marbles in action, as we're going straight to our first event, the sprint. About as basic a race as you can get, if you cross the finish line first, you win. Simple as that. Unless, of course, you're found to have used performance enhancing substances or vehicles. And we've also got news for all you points fans. If you love points, you're going to love this year's Marble Olympics, because we're dishing them out more than ever. First up to try and win some of those points, Tonga leading this race ahead of Ghana, who finish in second just behind them. Kenya and Finland miss out on qualification to the semi-finals. In fact, it was Ghana who crossed the line first. However, it is a pretty wonky finish line. Tonga are credited with the victory. They both advance, but that may cause some problems in the future. Argentina and Egypt are new teams up against Uzbekistan and Jamaica. A tight start to this race, Egypt slipped behind, it's really close between those front three. I think Uzbekistan just nicked ahead for the victory in the end, but this will be close for second. Now this is where troubles may arise as qualification for the next round depends on this. In fact I'm going to take a cheeky little screenshot just to clarify for my own sake. Excuse me as I just get this ruler out. You can see against my lovely straight ruler just how wonky this finish line is. And to my mind, that shows that it goes to Jamaica. Even though, just like in the first round, Argentina did cross the line first. I reckon surely this must be Jamaica advancing. It is indeed. Jamaica gets second place. They really need to sort out that finish line. Argentina as per our new point system, do get two for finishing in third. Egypt, nothing for last. Vietnam, Tuvalu, Ethiopia taking the lead with Greece just behind. A win there for Ethiopia. A close battle between Vietnam and Greece for second place. 
and they fix the finish line. Thank goodness a photo finished there. That freeze frame enough to show that Vietnam did indeed just beat out Greece for second place. One final heat, the reigning champions Great Britain, Netherlands, France and Canada off to a rocket start. They're going to take this race with ease, a win for Canada there and a mighty battle between Netherlands who got off to a fantastic start. Let it slip in the middle, Great Britain overtaking them there. But on the line, Netherlands just about regain it to clinch second place and a place in the semi-finals. So once again, two points for Great Britain, finishing in third, zero for France in their first ever makeshift Marble Olympics event. They don't score any points at all. On to the semi-finals then, Uzbekistan, Canada, brand new Ghana and old hats Ethiopia. Uzbekistan and Canada showing their class. A fine win for Uzbekistan, second place for Canada. We'll see them in the finals. A valiant effort from Ethiopia stuck with them all the way, but it just wasn't enough. They get seven points for their efforts and five points for Ghana. Second semi-final, Tonga, Vietnam, Netherlands and Jamaica. They've all shown their class in the past. A really tight race here, even the halfway mark, this could go anyway, and it breaks just at the end as Vietnam and Jamaica steam ahead. A little knock, I think, for Netherlands at the end there, maybe something similar with Tonga, they just lacked off the pace. And it'll be Vietnam and Jamaica going through to the finals, and those points there for third and fourth place in the semi-finals. Who will win the first medals of these games? Mere mortals may assume Jamaica. Experienced marvellous will have their money on Uzbekistan or Canada. Then of course there's those watching Vietnam, i.e. those who live in Vietnam. And it is indeed Uzbekistan and Canada fighting for the win and Uzbekistan see them off once again another. Uzbekistan Canada 1-2. That's three race victories for Uzbekistan, a thoroughly deserved gold medal for them. A strong second place and silver for Canada and Vietnam did so well to keep up and are rewarded with a bronze. So here are the new points for our race winners. 25 for first, 20 for second, 15 for third and Jamaica rewarded with 12 points for finishing in fourth. So congratulations to our first medalists of the summer. Familiar faces, Uzbekistan, Canada and Vietnam, adding a gold, silver and bronze to their already impressive collections. You can see the full rundown of the points won by each team and this will give you a good idea of the points on offer for each position in events to come. Speaking of events to come, next up it's the volleyball. There's a slight change to the format for this year to make it even more exciting, we hope. So don't miss it, or we'll miss you. Bye! Yeah.